wonder who's getting it. Now you gotta tell me who's is it. Girl, I used to fuck you in Toronto. All that Lake Shore by the condo. So as y'all can see, I'm back with another video or whatever. I hope you guys can hear me. I didn't need a mic. So I'm back with another hair review. This is episode two of my hair series if you if you're new to my channel this is basically a series that where i test popular hair brands that be on like tiktok instagram like y'all know those viral hair companies that y'all always see on tiktok instagram twitter i'm putting those to the test okay because i'm so sick of seeing these reviews and they order the hair and it be trash right or it be average hair so i took it upon myself to do the like i'm gonna call this the little exposed hair series this is episode two i didn't expect my first video to get so much love and i really i really appreciate y'all for that like i really that shit was unexpected <laughs> but that last video really motivated me to keep going i was gonna always keep going but i wasn't gonna come back y'all till i got a camera because I, I really didn't like the quality of that video i was actually just about to delete it before i seen how much it actually helped people so it motivated me to like get behind the camera today because i really wasn't until i got an actual camera but nevertheless let's get right into this video today, today's video is about the hair that i have in my head from wiggins hair they on the chopping block so i got some notes on my ipad right here i know you guys have heard of wiggins hair this is actually my second wig from wiggins hair but we're not gonna i'm not even gonna get into the 613 today we're gonna specifically talk about this wig I have to add it to y'all what kind of wig it is. So this is their highlighted T-part human hair lace front wig in 22 inches. I'm going to start off with the pros because that's the shortest, obviously, y'all. So pros about this wig. Personally, um, the lace melts nicely. It, it melts nicely. It's okay. It ain't the worst lace I ever worked with. The lace definitely melts nicely. Um, the shipping was fast. I got this hair in a day. One day, y'all ordered it. It came the very next day that Amazon Prime, okay? And the last pro is that it holds a curl very well i actually just put these little like fake soft curls in here this ain't nothing y'all um this curl this hair will definitely hold a curl all day long but anyways so those are the only pros i have let's jump right into these cons because the cons it really i really didn't even want to tell y'all the pros but i'm telling y'all just to tell y'all you know what i'm saying the hair ain't all bad but so first con the knots oh my gosh y'all when i say these knots are hard to bleach like I bleached these, I bleached this hair or bleached the lace, I mean, twice. The knots barely lifted. Like in some spots, y'all can't really tell because it's a T-part. Oh, that's another thing, y'all. It is a T-part wig, so it's not full lace front or whatever. But and this is my actual first T-part, but I do middle parts, so I really won't tripping off of any T-part. So some of the knots didn't really bleach. They're still actually black, but it didn't like bleach evenly. It's real patchy, but it really doesn't matter because it's like this much lace. So I guess that doesn't matter. But it's a factor if you decide to get a full lace wig. The highlights, the hair is damaged. Like the blonde hair is damaged. To the point where when I wet the hair, I can't comb it or I can't brush it. I really can't even blow dry it manually. Like I, this is the type of wig that when I take it off my head, I just put it on a mannequin dome head and I sit it under my hood and dryer because I wouldn't even want to manipulate this hair while it's wet. That's how damaged the blonde pieces are. They almost like gum. Like it's, it, it's, not, it's not giving what it needs to give the hair is extremely frizzy or it gets really frizzy like it has a lot of flyaways too like y'all i had to put free spray regular hairspray and um the wax stick just to try to maintain the flyaways at the top and i think it's obviously it's because the blonde hair is damaged and it's like i said so when you, you press it out or whatever it's like from all the little pieces breaking off from all the hair breaking off so you got all these little pieces on the top of your head and i'm using a hot comb and everything you need a lot like right here on the top of my head it's fake kind of hard because i want the i don't want the flyaways flying up that's just not cute y'all it ain't cute to me and the very last con which honestly personally this is the biggest this is the biggest no for me like this is exactly why i would never buy i personally wouldn't buy another wig from them ever again um this hair was thin as hell y'all like i'm not even gonna hold y'all this wig on my head this wig right now this ain't the wig they sent me i'm gonna tell you that right now this is not the wig that they sent me the wig that they sent me is in here baby don't get me wrong when they sent this wig <laughs> i promise y'all frontal frontal and all 
this wig is a bundle and a half of hair including the frontal it's a bundle and a half a bundle of hair like it was the thinnest wig i have ever worn my whole life like i've never actually been insecure about a wig before or how other the density of a wig and it's not even like you could choose the density on a site specifically to this wig you can't choose a density so i'm just assuming that the density is like a 180 honestly i'm gonna go look on the site and i'm gonna put it in the video but y'all i'm telling you this wig was like 50 percent density i'm not even gonna hope. like it was the type of wig where it was the type where i had it down and you could see straight through the back of my neck y'all usually i try to wear my wigs or wear the wigs test them out for like a month and then come to y'all and give y'all a review but i'm not even gonna hold y'all i had to take apart an old wig i had and sew the bundles into this wig on the third day of me having this wig because i went out to the beach with this wig and <laughs> Yeah, I felt like I felt the wind on my neck like I really just felt like you could see straight through it that's how thin it was it was horrible like the pictures and videos I was taking weren't even cute because every time I would take a picture like this or a video like this you could see behind me back here like it was so thin and I just think that's unacceptable Wiggins hair that's unacceptable y'all send me a bundle and a half for a lace front wig like literally y'all total the hair was a bundle and a half of hair baby I don't even want transparent lace. What the fuck make you think I want transparent a transparent wig? Or I want transparent hair? Maybe no. We're not doing that over here. Like, so I probably sold in about I sold in probably like two and a half bundles of another wig that I had. And I sold I layered the tracks in the back and um and the sides right here. So if the colors, the actual color, like the highlighted look, it's not as highlighted as it was before because I had to overlap this hair with a bunch of blonde, with a bunch of black hair. So it's not as highlighted as it was in the beginning, which was very cute. Um, but I, and it's actually way longer than it was than I purchased it because the hair that I had was probably I don't know like twenty eight inches. This hair that I ordered from them was twenty two inches, and y'all, it was. Oh, another con that I forgot to mention that the hair is very stringy. Like the Wiggins hair is very stringy. You can't really tell now. Because I have it blended in with some another company's bundles. And um, you can't see it now. But when I was just rocking the Wiggins hair solo by itself, no other bundles, um, it was very stringy. Just like y'all ever had some hair that was too soft, too lightweight, like too lightweight to where it was stiff. That's what this hair was doing. So yeah. On top of it acting like that, it was thin, it had the nerve to be to be thin. Y'all tried it. So Play with me. I'm not about to tell y'all to not buy from their company because they're not about to try to play with me. But I give this hair a 2 out of 10. Do not recommend. And I will personally will not be purchasing from them ever again. So y'all can do with that what you please. It doesn't matter to me. But um, yeah, I just want to keep it a buck. I hope this video gave y'all or gave you what you needed. Like if you clicked on this video and you trying to decide if you should buy this wig or not, baby, I'm telling you right here, right now, I don't care what review you seen. I don't care what other review you seen as of right now as of the date this video going out baby <laughs> i don't recommend this hair period point blank it's a waste of money definitely is money down the drain i just am the finesse queen so i made this john work so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this helps somebody great if you want to comment like subscribe go ahead do that i'm not it's really up to y'all y'all can help me out on my channel i would appreciate it but if not um that's fine. I'll catch y'all in the next one.